Okay, today we're going to be talking about estimating quotients. So in your um, <clears throat> table of contents, go ahead and label with the date. Today is division, estimating quotients. This will be page 14 for me, and this is MBT6. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to turn to that page. At the top, I'm going to write estimating quotients. And so we have two, like, math words here. Estimating, we know, means easy numbers. And quotients, we know, means... Um, answers to a division equation. So we're going to be estimating or making easy numbers for the answers to our division equations. Okay, we're going to look at your estimating quotients page from day 8 in your math binder. We're going to look at that first word problem that you have there. Um, Kendall picked 902 apples at the orchid. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video and complete cubes with that word problem. You don't need to glue the word problem in, but on the paper, I want you just to complete cubes on your paper. Do not cut and glue the problem in. Just complete cubes on the paper. Pause the video and complete that. So we have Kendall who picked 902 apples and he's going to pack them in crates to sell at the farmer's market. Each crate holds 22 apples. So 902 apples that need to go into crates. And he's going to put 22 apples in each crate. Okay. And it wants to know about, that's our key word there, about how many crates will Kindle fill. So this means not exactly, but about how many. So we'll use our estimation strategies. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 902 apples and I'm dividing it into groups of 22. And I want to figure out how many groups I'll get. Okay, 902 apples and there's 22 going in each crate. So I'll have a total of 902. There's my dividend. And I want to put them into groups of 22. There's my divisor and my quotient over here, my answer will tell me how many total groups I'll end up with, okay? So when I'm solving this problem, since it wants to know about, okay, since it wants to know about, I know if I think backwards, if I'm thinking of this number, of this number backwards, I know that I'm thinking of something times 22 equals 902. That's this equation backwards. Division, if you think about it like this, is always multiplication backwards, Okay, and multiplication is always division backwards. So I'm thinking of whatever my answer is, I should be able to multiply it by 22 and get 902 apples. Because remember, this is the number of groups, this is how many is in each group, and then this is my total. Okay, so let's write that over to the side. Total is right here. The number of groups, or excuse me, the number of apples in each crate and then my answer is the number of crates so it makes sense I should be able to take the number of crates multiply it by how many are in each crate and get 902 just like I should be able to take my total divide it by the number in one crate and get the number of total crates that it's going to take to pack all these apples okay so I'm going to think something times 22 equals 902. Well, I'm not really sure about that, but I can go with my easy 10 facts. So I'm going to do a think box. First think fact I'm going to come up with is 22 times 10. I know that is 220. If I take 22 times 20 now, 2 times 22 is 44. That's 440. I'm still not really close to that 902 that I need. If I take 22 times 30, 
3 times 22 is 66, so that's 660. Getting closer, I'm going to try 22 times 40. That's 880, because 4 times 22 is 88, and add my zero. Then if I do, I'm not quite there. Let's see if I can get closer. 22 times 50, 5 times 22 is 110, and then I add one more zero. So that is more than 902. What does this think box tell me? Well, this think, think box tells me that my question mark or my answer, okay, my quotient in this division problem should be somewhere between these two values because 902 is between 880 and 1100. So that means that my quotient Oops, I spelled that wrong. I'm sorry, guys. My quotient is between 40 and 50. How did I know it was between 40 and 50? Well, I knew that because when I multiply 22 by both of these numbers, I get an answer that is close to 902. So I know, in essence, that my quotient will be between 40 and 50, okay? It's going to be um, larger than 40, but less than 50 because I saw the answers there that were larger and less than 902. Okay. So I can think about it like that, that it's going to be somewhere between 40 and 50. Well, what's halfway between 40 and 50? Halfway between 40 and 50 is about 45 crates. And I can try that. I can try taking 22 times 45 and see what I get. 5 times 2 is 10, carry my 1. 5 times 2 is 10, add one more, it's 11, put my 0 here. 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 2 is 8. When I add those together, I get 990, and that is a little bit over the 900 and two that I needed. So when I look here, I'm thinking it's probably a little bit less than 45, okay? So about 45 crates, um, somewhere around there would be um, a decent estimate, okay? It might be a little less than 45, but it's an estimate because it wants to know about how many, okay? So in order to estimate quotients, you kind of have to create a think box and give yourself a range. Where is my quotient going to be between? And then go from there and test some possibilities out. Okay, Estimating doesn't have exact answers. Estimating is trying to find easy numbers that are close to your answer. Okay, I want you to try doing cubes with the second word problem on this page. And in your notes, I want you to try to do a think box and figure out where your quotient will be. Tomorrow, we will talk further about estimating quotients and how we come up with an about, um, about how much when we're looking at quotients. Um, the thing that I want you to tell me tomorrow is tell me how do we soar in the classroom. See you guys tomorrow.